This is Read Align, Do Align, Cooking.com. My name is Mike Pierce. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my home. Today we're going to do a really simple, at least we're going to start, a really simple product review. It's just these, these things. And the reason I'm going to do a review is because I started to open them and I immediately realized what kind of frustrates me. Doesn't mean they're bad. I just thought I would show you the open box experience or box opening experience, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll probably keep them for a week. I'm going to keep them anyways, but I'm going to use them for a week and then I'll finish this review next week and it'll be one video. Uh, but anyways, so I'll show you from the other camera angle to have one straight down. There's the box. You buy it. I, it says $49.99. That's probably what I paid. I don't remember. I don't have the receipt because I bought it a few months ago and never got around to opening it. So anyways, it's just got this little flap. You open it. There you go. Well, that's lovely. This is all fine. These are very pretty. And yeah, I have a little sticker on the bottom to keep the stuff falling out. This is my complaint. This is my big complaint right here. You open that. Do you see what's wrong with this? Come on. Seriously? 10 cents more of frickin' the product? You couldn't fill these things up? You put just enough in to piss me off. That's what's wrong with these. Otherwise, they look very pretty. So that's how I'm starting it. I realize this is not much. I'm going to use them for a week. You'll see them sitting in any other videos back there. So I'm probably going to keep them. I don't know what else to do with them. But in the meantime, so I had to buy some more salt, except this is pink and that's white. So I have to wait till I finish and I don't have any more peppercorns. So I'll have to buy more. It's kind of annoying to spend $50 or whatever I paid for a really nice set of salt pepper grinders to replace the cheap you know, store ones you buy and then realize that they couldn't be bothered to put enough of the material in. Anyways, that's it. I'll use them for a week. We'll finish this up. Thank you. Welcome back. It has not been a week. It's been a day. Uh, well, two days. Yesterday, I made a baked potato. I used both salt and pepper grinders, both of them. Pretty much learned everything I needed to know. So, here we go. So what I wanted to show you is a couple of quick things. Okay, what I like about them, what I don't like about them is I told you that they're not full. What I do like about them is this. See, it's not just grinding, you got selections. There's five of them there, and there's three of them on this one, okay? So we'll start off with the salt, okay? And I'm just gonna use the back of the box, okay? So this is as rough as it can be, so. I don't know, it's not very rough. We'll go one smoother. It's a little smoother. You go down to this one, look at that. It's like powder. It is so fine. I've never had salt this fine. So that I absolutely love because it's really fine. It does exactly what I want, okay? Now with the pepper, here we go. As rough as it can be. And we'll go next one, next one, next one, next one finest. Okay, and I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see, zoom in a little here. But this is the roughest, and then it comes all, there's actually six settings. But when you get down to here, it's pretty fine. I mean, it's very fine. That's what I liked. And I don't know if you could hear it, but they're really smooth. They're quiet. They don't make all that clunky, weird noises like the, like the ones in the store. Um, not, no, these are in the store too, but the store, the cheap ones. The disposable ones okay so look i don't want to make this really long it's pretty basic they work fine i didn't like that they weren't full i love the control you have over the different uh, uh how fine it shreds or grinds and i love how smooth they operate i don't know if they're worth 50 bucks or whatever i paid but they are quite wonderful so far you know you'll probably hear more about them later if i just complain in one of my other videos but i really like them Probably should have bought them in stainless if they made it so it matched the rest of my kitchen, but that's okay. I really like them. So anyways, that's it. Just a short little video. Uh, come across these things. They're pretty cool. Just know you're going to have to buy more pepper and more salt pretty much immediately. Otherwise, they're great. Thank you very much. If you like the video, like it. If you like the channel, subscribe. Uh, visit the website at some point. Read a line, do a line, cooking.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.